I believe it's important that every new programmer to C understands the various versions of C. Don't worry, there aren't very many. Firstly, there's the original C as it was developed back in the late 60s or early 70s. It is commonly known as the Kernighan and Ritchie C, if it's known as anything at all, simply because two fellows, obviously by the name of Kernighan and Ritchie, wrote a book called the C Programming Language, where they fully described and specified the language of C. In the 80s, C was revamped. If you like, they came out with version 2 of C, or perhaps you might call it version 1.1, but they tidied up a few of the nuisances in C, and they tidied up some of the things that programmers had complained about, added a few features that people had been calling for, and standardized on that. They called that ANSI C. It's still called C, but if you want to be specific or pedantic or separate it from the original C, you call it ANSI C. ANSI, by the way, stands for the American National Standards Institute, and they standardize many things. And that is the version of C that is still being used today. However, another version, well, can we call it a version of C? It's actually C++. C++ is not the same language as C. It is a derivative language of C. That means that C++ is a superset of C. And that means that everything that C can do, C++ can do as well. So you might be thinking to yourself, why am I learning C when C++ is out there? And the reason is this. C and C++ offer two completely different approaches to programming. C uses the procedural approach, which I've described earlier, and C++ uses the object-oriented approach. And so if you plan to use object-oriented design techniques, then you would use the language of C++ to implement those designs. If you're planning to use relatively straightforward procedural techniques, you would definitely use the language of C. C is smaller and faster for such things. So C++ is not really a version of C. It is another language. Similarly, there are other derivatives of C. Actually, these are more like derivatives of C++. There's a very common language of Java, which was a platform-independent version of C++ developed by Sun. And then there's C Sharp, which is <laughs> yet another version of C developed by Microsoft. In fact, there are many other variants of C and C++, derivatives of C++ around the world. We're not going to go into those because they are not industry standard and learning those particular languages will not help you in your quest to become a C programmer. The book that completely describes the C programming language is, as mentioned before, by Kernighan and Ritchie. Please make sure that you get the second edition, not the first edition. The, se the second edition is easily recognizable because it's got the big letters ANSI C stamped on the front and because it's got the word second edition across the top. This is considered by most C programmers to be the C programming Bible. I recommend that all C programmers, if you're serious, go out and buy this book. I want to stress, though, that this is not a learning book. This is a book for people that already know how to program in C, but occasionally need to look things up or remind themselves of how certain things are done. For that, it is exceptional. It is a very, very good reference text. It is not, as I said, a very good learning text. If you need a learning text, that's what you bought this CD for.